For our first estimate in Estimate, we will price a common sign that we all might do that will show off several of Estimate's features. The sign we will price is a 4 foot by 6 foot double sided MDO sign, MDO is known as Crazon in Canada, on 3 quarter inch MDO with a dark green painted background and gold metallic vinyl lettering. The sign will be installed on site between two 4x4 four four unpainted pressure treated posts and the footers will be quick set concrete. The sections of the software we will use for this are the new estimate screen, the vinyl signs screen, the retail items screen, and the other screen. To begin our estimate, we click the New Estimate button, which will bring up the New Estimate screen. This screen is the doorway into the Estimate pricing system and is a screen you will become very familiar with over time. Note that it is designed to look like a page from a yellow pad, which is something we have all used at one time or another for quoting a job. The idea here is to make you as comfortable as possible in the software environment and to have a little fun at the same time. Let's investigate this screen a bit. In the upper left corner, we have a list of all the customers in the program that you have manually entered or that you have imported from other software. An important note, if the customer you are doing this estimate for is not in the list, you can always click the small icon of a book to the right of the customer list to add a new customer record to the database. Throughout Estimate, when you see any list in a drop-down box like this one, there will be a book icon you can choose to add a new item to the list. Just below the customer list, is a place to enter the name of the person who requested this estimate from your shop. Note that when you select a customer's entry, the contact name, which is taken from the customer database, is automatically filled into this field, but you can change this for the individual estimate. The next two fields are the date of this estimate, and the production time you expect to require to complete the job. Today's date is automatically filled in, but you can change the date here one of two ways. You can manually type in the date you want, or you can drop down the calendar and select the date this way. The production time field does not affect any internal calendar system, but prints on the estimate just for the customer's sake, so don't hesitate to change this value. On the estimate screen are two description fields, one for a general description of the estimate that prints on the estimate itself. The second is a description field for internal use only that prints on the production order. This allows you to communicate privately with your crew about the sign work being done in a way that the customer will never see. The big list in the middle of the screen is where your estimates line items will be after you have entered them and the four buttons below the list are for adding, editing, copying, or deleting line items. This box is where you select a salesperson for this job, and underneath that box is one for selecting a discount if this estimate warrants one. Neither of these boxes are required. The four buttons on the bottom are for saving the estimate, printing the estimate or associated reports, closing the estimate, or converting the estimate to a job. The fifth button is for accessing the software's help file. And that's how we complete an estimate. We now have an MDO sign painted dark green with metallic vinyl, double-sided, and installed on site for our customer. The price here is based, of course, on our local market in Asheville, North Carolina. Your price will be based on your market. Now we will save our estimate by clicking the Save button, which after saving turns into a Delete button. 
Once you've saved an estimate, you don't have to save it again, as the changes you make are automatically applied as you work. And now we'll click Close to close our estimate and put it away.